Alright guys, how's it going? So I was digging around my server today, I was looking for a file for a client, and I came across my Magicka voxel renders. Now I made these years ago, but it reminded me how good the application actually is. So I thought, I need to make a video of this. <laughs> how do I work it in a Blender? And then I was reminded that Blender actually has an add-on that supports Magical Voxel Format .vox. So we'll take a look at the add-on and we'll take a look at Magical Voxel. Now I'll give you a warning. It doesn't actually work with the latest version. You actually need to use a previous version. Anything below 0.99. So I recommend something like 0.98.2. And that just means the Blender add-on will work pretty damn good. But that doesn't mean you should dismiss the latest version. The developer's done a huge amount of work. You now have cloud rendering. The tools are slightly better. The UI's a little bit more intuitive. Does that make sense? So either way, we'll take a look at Magical Voxel. Now this won't be a fully fledged tutorial. There's plenty of them on the internet. But one thing I'll say about Magical Voxel, it's very therapeutic. <laughs> you don't have things like edge loops, merging polygons, bridging, modifiers. You literally have a box. <laughs> And you're kind of free to just kind of build 8-bit graphics. So I've modelled these, they're not the best in the world, but they get the job done. And I'll give you a brief overview of the tools. So we have our brushes here, we have attach, which attaches a box. We have erase, pretty much is erase, and we have paint. So L stands for lines, so that lets me create lines. C stands for circles, you can see what direction I'll go. P stands for pattern, but nobody actually ever uses this. You can see the pattern here. V stands for voxels, so you can actually just do individual voxels, which is great. I've kind of made a frying pan without even trying. F stands for faces, so I can actually extrude faces in and out, which is pretty cool. And B stands for brush tool, and generally most people use this, it kind of, it kind of builds up. Now, Erase uses all the exact same tools, and it pretty much does an eraser. And Paint lets you paint. Very simple, very intuitive tools, very easy to use. And that's pretty much the basics of Magic of Voxel. It really is your own imagination that kind of holds you back. So we'll take a look in Blender. Now like I mentioned, you only need the .py file to install any of the preferences. And in traditional fashion, we'll delete the cube. And if you come to File, Import Magic of Voxel. Now if you have any troubles, I maybe suggest you go back to Blender 2.82, it might help you out, but who knows. So I'm actually going to load a very small file, and the reason for this is, I'm actually going to make it individual cubes, so the larger the file, the longer it takes. So if you take a look on the right hand side, we have a few import options, voxel spacing, voxel size, would you like to load animation frames? Join voxels will just make it one whole object, but I'm going to leave it separate and I'm going to import vox. And I have my little character here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly select all my character and I'm just going to put her right in the middle. And I'll probably scale her down ever so slightly. And let's put her here. And of course, I need to destroy Lara Croft, why not? So I'm actually going to select the first cube. I'm then going to go to the physics tab and I'm going to enable rigid body. Now I'm actually going to change this to a box in the shape, I'll leave everything default, I'm only showing this as an example. If I hit play we'll see the box fall. So I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to select all the other cubes. Now there's quite a lot here, so if I scroll down in the outliner, there's 500 cubes. I'm going to quickly bring up my search, which is spacebar in my case, or F3 in yours probably, and I'm going to look for copy rigid body. And I'm going to apply this to all the cubes. Now this will take a couple of seconds because we're doing 500 cubes. <laughs> and I also need a ground plane so hopefully this won't take too long. So it took about 10 seconds. I'm going to quickly add in a ground plane. And this is a great way to judge scale. <laughs> so I'll scale this up. I'll make this a rigid body. I'll make it passive so it acts like a ground. I'll make sure I'm kind of straight. Looks good to me. Maybe, maybe move it up ever so slightly. Let's take a look at the simulation. How cool is that? And that's pretty much Magical Voxel in the importer. It's very basic. Now like I mentioned, you can actually import this as one whole object. 
It means you don't have individual cubes and you can texture it. And Magical Voxel actually supports several different export options. You can actually export it as a PLY file, which can come in handy, or an OBJ. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. I've got a couple of mates. You know what to do. Peace.